You've seen Adama, Director of Marketing, and that is my sweetheart, Ida <laughs> uh, and Jaya. Uh, thank you guys so much for that Zobo you gave me yesterday. Eh? Chai. The one you guys. One you guys Eh? You call it, you call it one job. One job, one job, one job, one job, one job, one job. I call it Zobo. Zobo, the normal thing we call it. You need to test Wonjo. That is Zobo. Let me use what everybody yeah. will understand. Absolutely. You guys really need to test Gambian Zobo. It's out of this world. I know that other places have tested a uh, Zobo that is very good. I did that in uh, Benin, probably in the Ivory Coast. And when I came to the Gambia and I tested the Zobo, <laughs> there's so more when, that and so when i met i saw you people yesterday and i, I said you know what and they actually gave me a gallon of i mean <laughs> five liters that's the hospitality of yes, the yes they gave me five liters that's right. that i took home uh, there's one experience i had in the gambia and actually it was in her house that's it. That's it was introduced to us when we came and they said ah there's a particular experience that we have introduced now is culinary experience and i had the best I'm still salivating. I mean, that's why I love her. That's why I still keep in contact with her. As a matter of fact, if you've ever heard me mention the Gambia, then her name must come there. Because I'll tell you, ah, the Kai rice, what I chop for this bar, right? I was there, I'll die. You know, we had an amazing, amazing culinary experience. I've been in the tourism industry since 1989. Then, um, 2008, I resigned from my home cooking. The reason why I wanted to start something new in the tourism market. So, what I do, I invite travelers to my house, and when they come, I give them African outfits. We take baskets, go to the market, do the real thing, haggle, buy the products, then come back to my house. We cook together, eat together play games, dance, and exchange cultural values. Wow. And lastly, I started something new because I do realize that some people would like to taste authentic Gambian food but are not interested, interested in cooking. So for that one, I cook everything and people come and eat with the family. Okay. I started that just last, week, last year. Okay, they actually do not want to go through the hassle of going to the market or coming to your house early because for you to go to the market, you have to come early. Oh, yes. Can one person come or must it be in groups? The beauty of my product is a personal touch. Okay. From two, maximum of ten. I don't take more than ten people. How much does it really cost for me to have such an experience? Um, it's forty-five pounds per person. Okay, for person. For person yeah. Okay. That Does includes, that include the cloth? The cloth, you have to leave it back at home. Okay. You have to leave it behind. Okay, but if you want the cloth, if you like, you the can cloth, buy it. it Obviously, buy. yeah, because my elder sister is fashion designer, and she's the one who sold those clothes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who actually started selling that experience for you? Myself. I innovated. You innovated it. Yeah. And then. Who exported it? Myself. You exported it to other countries. To because other now countries. people hire me to go and cook in other countries. I was in South Africa for the Africa Day and I'm just from Germany as well because they use my product to sell the Gambia as well. Okay, they use your product in, in where? Germany. In Germany. Yes. Okay. This it, was, it was on a road show. Okay, on the road show. FBI. What's FTI? FTI is a tourist company in Germany. All right. So do they have it as part of in-flight entertainment in any airline? Do they carry that experience Gambian food? Do they carry the they experience? They do in Brussels Airlines. Okay. In Brussels Airlines video, I'm in there. I know a lot of, a lot of things have changed now, yeah. but experience is an experience. I've had that experience with Ida and it was an unforgettable experience. It was an amazing experience. It was a delicious experience for me. You will see me all dressed up in the Gambian <laughs> dress and you know, though I didn't go to market with her, I didn't because I had other things I was doing. So I came when she just returned from the market and then I enjoyed it. It was me and one other white girl. Yeah. And I tell everybody that like going to the Gambia that even if there's one thing you don't want to do in the Gambia, that is not having the real Gambian experience. I actually call it the real Gambian experience. I ate a uh, fish yase. Mm -hmm. Fish yasa. Fish yasa. Yeah. Fish yasa. To go back to Ida's, Ida's um, you know, expertise, I think 
the whole country is actually proud of her uh, because I know for a fact that uh, anytime we travel, we, we actually had to hire um, um, a film producer who happens to come and do a special film on on either. So if you go to our website, you can see it's uploaded there on our social media platforms, which we have so many thousand followers. But but I think, uh, like I like I said, culinary is, is a product that the Nigerians love, and I think she's doing a fantastic job that we don't have an option. It's a must do thing that we have to support her. And uh, you can see that's why when you come to Ecuador, we had to collaborate with her to make sure that because we, well, we have seen the importance of her reach in complementing our efforts in promoting this in Gambia. Because uh, just a couple of months, I think, Gambia was awarded as Gambia. the best uh, tourist destination in Germany. And uh, um, in New York Times, also Gambia was named as among the 10 best tourist destinations that uh, everybody should love to visit. So, so, so we have seen so many um, um, promotion that, that, that we have seen. And of course, Ida has always been somebody very instrumental in, in our drive. Ida, you know, I remember the time I had that experience, I mean, we're in your family. Your son <coughs> said that you want to be a chef or something like yeah. that. Where is he? He must have grown now. He's now in the U.S. studying to be a chef. Wow. Yeah, he runs in the family. Yeah, he's doing very well. I'm real proud of him. Okay. Yeah. He's the only... I've got, I've got three boys. One has just came back and um, he was doing international international business. And the other one has done computer science. Okay. Yeah. So the last one, that's the last one, is um, going to be a chef. And he's going to take after the, after my business. Wow. Yeah, what does a Yaboy mean? That's Yab the name of your... Yaboy means mother. Mother. I name my business after my mother because in my family we're all women and we are brought up by a single parent. Because my father died early. So when my father died, my mom said she's not going to have another husband because she won't have five, five girls to be successful. She did. But from the beginning, life was very difficult with her. That was why only the last two went to school. But it's, she put the other three into business. One is a fashion designer, well known in the Gambia. The other two will go outside Gambia, get things in common self. And the other, the other one who's been to school was the personal assistant of Minister of Information. And I am on tourism. Wow. So this is how we go. We're all women. In my family, all women, and I've got all boys. Wow. My mom has all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom has all the girls. That's a bless. Yeah. That's a bless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I am very proud to say that my mom started from zero. She started from selling peanut butter. Mm. Yeah, from the beginning. But afterwards, she made it in life through determination. Wow. Yeah. It's all about determination. Yeah, it's I think, really all about I think, determination. Yeah, I think in life, and you know, I was very touched when uh, she told me about how instrumental you are in. Um, blowing out information that are of relevance to, to, to your viewers and and hey for me I always say to, to, to people that determination is the key to success and uh, she, she has manifested that she has left tourism working for 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 anybody for so many years now and here she is and uh, th that's the way all of us you know I mean you were once a TV president you're now doing your own thing that's the way it is. We all have to be very optimistic about life and give it a go. And you know, I have a similar experience. Experience. And hey, I, tell I, me about your experience. Well, well, I lost my dad very early, and uh, I became the one of the house very early. And uh, you know, he passed away at, at the time where my A-level exam was on the results were even out. So my mom is uneducated and. Uh, she was, she was having only one one land that she sold and oh. sometimes I had to go to school with slippers that are cut here and there but I wanted to make her happy and mm. uh, at least thank God I've done what I need to do and uh, at least she's happy and I'm happy and like I and I'm glad that she's, she's calling her mom for, for me my philosophy and my ideology is parents you know, you cannot pay your parents. It's a sh uh, well, it's sad that my dad is not here, but my mom, everything I have is for her. Because I've seen how she suffered, and she deserves every good thing in this world. Wow, that's really beautiful. Your mom is still alive? Mm. 
Unfortunately, she died 2005 at the age of 84. What? Yeah. Ah, a life, a a life well lived. Yeah. You went to markets? Yes. What did you buy? Which bucket did you go to in Nigeria? Um, oh God. Bolobo. Bolobo. Is it Bolobo? What is it called? Is it Bolobo? It's a big market though. I got some nice shoes here with me. Nice yeah. shoes, very nice. Is that the name? Bolobo? Hmm? Where's the biggest market that you have for um It's not far from here. It's not far from here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's not far from here. No, it's not far from here. Okay. No, it's not far. But it's not open in the market. It got it all. <laughs> it's not <laughs> open in the market. It's a, if we went to Okay. It's big though, it's very big. Now that you've mentioned it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm now forgetting the name of the market that mm. I go all the time. Yeah, we went there. You went, bought some. Oh, I got some nice stuff for my family, particularly my mom. Mm -hmm. You know, she had to, you know, she also had to experience uh, what Nigerian is about. So I got some nice shoes for her and, and the entire family. Okay, you yeah. didn't go? I couldn't, no. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. it's all right. You tested some Nigerian food. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ooh. I like the egg goosey. Egg like goosey? Egg goosey is my favorite. For me, every, <laughs> egg goosey is everything. <laughs> okay. For me, it's, it's my favorite. You don't have it in the Gambia? We have it, but hey. So we have, okay, we, well, we have got some Nigerian restaurants in Gambia, but I can tell you, when you come here, I think. There's something that they put that they have the authentic one here. It's right here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so now I'm going to promise you guys that next time I'm visiting the Gambia, it's going to be part of one of the things I'm going to get for you people the raw one, and then we're going to make it in the Gambia. Wow. I mean, in my kitchen. I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay. I mean. We're going to make it in yeah. the Gambia. I mean, that I mean. Great. Uh, we're going to make it in the Gambia. I mean. Just, uh, just going to let you know. Just don't forget to let me know that. Oh, Adachi, don't forget the Egusi. Okay. I'm going to get the Egusi. Learn how to make it, and I'll leave the raw ones with you guys so that you can also try it wow. out. You know, we have <laughs> lots and lots of food in Nigeria. No, don't worry, you got a problem. You got a problem. Because every single is our favorite, yeah. so okay. it's beautiful. The last time you came, as a matter of fact, she actually won. You know, when they did the jollof rice. Jollof rice, yeah. Yes, jollof rice competition. She won it last year. No, she won. Gambia won. You need to tell you that understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> this food, eh? Try it. So I wasn't surprised. So, mm. how does that make you feel? I was very happy. But, you know, I don't know why Nigerians are dying. Talk about that. <laughs> jollof rice is there. What do you mean? Where, where is jollof from? Jollof actually is Wolof name. Ah, good. <laughs> the, tribe, the tribe is Wolof, and Jollof is a region in Senegambia and in Senegambia. Right. Are you serious? It, yeah, is. it is. It is. So I don't know why you say Jollof is yours. Jollof is, Jollof is ours. I am a Wolof. Am I too? See? So, so we know what we're talking about. Oh, it's ours. It's but ours. you know, never mind. You know, Nigerians are our brothers and sisters. We can do this. <laughs> We can always accommodate you guys. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're just making noise there with Zion. I don't wonder. Yeah. Because that food I eat in your house. It's different. it's different. It's not chep. Chep is like jollof rice. It's yeah. very oily, right? It's oily. For it's, her, it's different. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit similar. But they're different. Okay. But it's different. It's different. Yeah. It's different. Okay. What I, uh, it was the way you cook it and the way we cook it is different. And we also have our secret. Ingredients is that is a piece. Yeah, I know. To, no, no, I'm not going to talk about. No. Even if we talk about it, we might not even get them here. Those ingredients might not be gotten here. It is it's like mm. that. It's really like that. We're mm. not like that. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> well anyway. Like <laughs> I said, you pardon know. us. Yeah. You, we shouldn't have, you know, allowed you to come and compete with us. <laughs> we must <laughs> let you be. Because right. I know, you know, that you guys are gonna win it hands down. Mm. But anyways, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right. Thank you very well, it's been wonderful talking to you guys. Okay. So I'm looking forward to coming to the Gambia to experience or re-experiencing mm -hmm. Gambian experience once again. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, Thank you guys so, so much. It's been wonderful talking. I don't want to take your time because I know you have early morning flight to catch. And probably, I think, what's the time? It's about past 10 p.m. <laughs> it's all right. We, we, you know, <laughs> you know, we're very privileged. And uh, we will continue to showcase what we do best for the country because there's one beauty about the Gambia is when we promote yes the commanded of promotion is the Gambia Tourism Board as a commanded we are promote everything whether it's educational tourism whether it's culinary whether it's cultural tourism you name it we have it all and when we go out 
we promote the Gambia in totality and that's why we're here. It's really nice talking to you guys. Ida, I'm going to show you people that experience I had with Ida the last time I visited the Gambia. Like I said, it's been a while that I did that experience, but it's still very, very relevant. It's still very beautiful, you know, just after this. So I'm going to leave a link immediately after this. You're just going to be watching the culinary experience I had in the Gambia. Really the smiling coast of Africa. Africa. So